Well, hello there and thanks again for joining me this week for our time of reflection and prayer. It's been a windy and wet week for many of us, but although the elements may toss you about, I hope that you find safety and security in the arms of our loving God. Our reading today is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 7b. Jesus said, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Amen. Last week we thought about how many times Jesus wants us to forgive someone who sins against us. And the answer is always just one more. This week we reflect on a well-known passage concerning a woman caught in adultery. But before that, I remember starting in a new office and within the first few days, many of the staff warned me about one of my new colleagues. Watch your back. Be careful what you say to them, etc, etc. They had all made up their minds and wanted everyone they met to know their verdict. Personally, I don't listen to this type of tattletale. I take people as I find them, make up my own mind. After all, that's what I hope they would do with me. But back to our reading. A woman had been caught in adultery and was brought to Jesus. Where was the man? It takes two to tangle, you know. But the teachers of the law and the Pharisees were not interested in righteousness and law. They just wanted to catch Jesus out. They wanted him to deny parts of God's word. They pressed Jesus on this until he ended the debate by saying, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And in saying that, he uncovered their hypocrisy. One by one, everyone left until there were no accusers remaining, no one to charge the woman and no one to condemn her. Then Jesus said to the woman, Go and sin no more. Only the sinless have the right to judge others, and only the perfect Son of God offers to us complete forgiveness. I end with some other words of Jesus for you to reflect on. He said, Go and do likewise. Praise God for Jesus. Let's pray. Perfect and loving God, in Christ we have a true faith and a sure hope. In Christ we find love, mercy and justice. O Lord, you are a God who holds up a mirror to our lives that we might know our faults and sins and wrongs. Then you hold up the cross to our eyes that we might see and receive forgiveness. Help us to be slow to judge and quick to forgive. Let our attitude be that of Christ who came not to condemn but to save. And now let's say together the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.